Hi, my name is Gustav Woodrich. I'm a vascular and endovascular surgeon at the Mayo Clinic Rochester. I have dedicated my practice to the management of patients with complex aortic disease using novel endovascular techniques. What is an aortic aneurysm? The normal aorta measures the size of a quarter. Aortic aneurysm is a weakness of the aorta, which leads to progressive enlargement and dilatation. Whereas most aortic aneurysms occur in the abdominal aorta below the kidneys, they can also affect the aorta across the arteries to the kidneys and intestine, the thoracic aorta in the chest, or even the aortic arch in the collarbone. What are the indications to treat an aortic aneurysm? When we consider an operation to treat an aneurysm, we always balance the risk of rupture versus the risk of the operation. Most often, we consider repair when the aneurysm is larger than 5.5 cm in men or 5 cm in women. But other important factors are the rate of growth and the shape of the aneurysm. When treatment is indicated, the options are open surgery or endovascular repair with stents. Is there a less invasive option? I would like to focus the next minutes on the availability of endovascular stents to treat difficult aortic aneurysms that involve the arteries to the kidneys and intestine, how can it be done, and what are the results. First of all, we currently can repair nearly all aneurysms using endovascular stents, which are placed inside the artery using small growing incisions. At the Mayo Clinic, we have developed an advanced endovascular program which allows us to have access to a wide variety of stents, including the last generation stents, which are not yet commercially available in the United States. How can this be done? Special stents are needed to preserve blood flow to the kidney and intestinal arteries while repairing the aneurysm. This can be done using fenestrated and or branch stent grafts. Fenestrations are small windows cut into the fabric and branches are small side arms or cuffs built in the main aortic stent, which allows us to place additional bridging stents up across the kidney blood vessels themselves. All these stents are built up on a very time-tested platform that we have been using for over 15 years. Specific advantages of the fenestrated and branch stent graft is that it avoids the need of a large incision and interruption of blood supply to the kidneys and intestine, which is needed with open repair. Instead, circulation is maintained to these organs during the entire procedure. Several studies already demonstrate that the risk of death and life-threatening complications is decreased as compared to open repair. Repair of an aneurysm with fenestrated and branch stent grafts is planned using a computed tomography, angiography, or CT scan. This test allows us to make precise measurements of the aorta. Based on these measurements, we can select the ideal fenestrated and branch stent configuration for each specific patient. In this example, a stent was planned with two small cuffs and two fenestrations for the arteries of liver, intestine, and both kidneys. The operation is done with small incisions in both groins. Working inside the arteries, we can obtain access to these vessels. In this segment of the video, a dye is injected into the right kidney artery to locate the vessel. Following location of the vessel, the aortic stent is introduced inside the artery with, with a delivery cannula and is released in the aorta. Working from the arm with catheters, we can access the small cuffs into the arteries of the liver and intestine, while the arteries to the kidneys are accessed from below. Once all vessels are safely secured, separate side stents are placed into these arteries, followed by an additional stent to connect the repair to the arteries that go to the leg. What are the expected results? The benefit of a fenestrated and branch stent graft builds up on the success we have had over the last 15 years with traditional endovascular aortic aneurysm repair. We know from several studies that for simpler aneurysms, the chance of a life-threatening complication or death is markedly reduced with the use of stents. Compared to open repair, this approach decreases blood loss, need for transfusion of blood products, and is associated with a faster recovery, 
which averages two to five days in the hospital depending on the aneurysm complexity. At the Mayo Clinic, our program started in 2007 and thus far we have treated nearly 300 patients with fenestrated or branch stent grafts. The risk of life-threatening complication is 1 to 3 percent. As for durability, approximately 10 to 15 percent of the patients may need a revision, which is typically done under out local anesthesia as an outpatient procedure. Moreover, this technique is highly effective and the risk of aneurysm rupture is estimated in 1% in 10 years. So who is eligible for this procedure? Given that we have a wide access to a different range of devices that are not yet commercially available in the United States, there are few constraints in terms of who is a possible candidate. In essence, most types of aortic aneurysms affecting the abdominal or thoracic aorta can be treated with fenestrated or branch stent grafts. We have treated patients with ascending aortic aneurysms close to the heart, arch aneurysms close to the collarbone, thoracoabdominal aneurysms in the chest and abdomen, and perirenal and iliac artery aneurysms in the abdomen. Whereas most of these stents are made to order for each specific patient, we also have some that are off the shelf and immediately available. Most of these stents are under research here in our center. It is important to highlight that these have been widely utilized and are already commercialized in many countries. Why choose Mayo Clinic for the procedure? Mayo Clinic is based on the foundation of excellence in patient care, research and education. Our main priority is to provide the best care possible to the patient and our quality standards are the highest. We have a long tradition in aortic surgery that dates many decades. A key to our success has been the multi-specialty practice which allows us to have top experts on a variety of fields taking care of the same patient. Thank you very much for your time.